Hey folks, exercise number 16 is a looped animation with a character on a pogo stick. So when you break down the action, I think it's important to notice key forms of the character, namely the feet, the pelvis, and the head. Check out this expanded view to get a sense of the height in each one of the frames. This animation will work really well with arcs, squash and stretch, and some overlapping action and follow through. In this segment, I've set up a layout drawing for the animation loop. Thinking about my reference footage, I come up with a rough sketch of the pogo stick. Notice that I don't spend any time on details until I'm really happy with the timing and the weight of that pogo stick. I've also roughed in some of the character riding the pogo stick, so you can kind of see that circle. Here's a still image that will give you an idea of the squash and stretch needed to suggest follow through and overlapping action. Let's finish up this video with a little bit of cleanup. You can see I'm going to go in frame by frame and I'm going to color and in different passes I'll add in detail. And here is a comparison of the different phases and the final animation. Alright, do me a favor and go give this a try. Thank you for watching.